It's time for Real Recipes with Dave Lancaster. Brought to you by Kikoman, naturally brewed for premium flavor. It's Real Recipes and it's coming to you from the Island Homes Building Materials Showroom in Kalihi. And today we have a very special guest. We have a chef and he is, of course, Chef Eric Lelinski. I want to get this right now. You're from the Sheraton Keoho Bay Resort and Spa. Very good. On the Big Island. Now this is, of course, the Marlin fishing capital of the world in Kona. So I guess you deal with a lot of seafood. Definitely a lot of seafood there at Sheraton. So this you recipe know. we're going to do today is uh, what now? Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little pan seared mahi. I have a lot of local vegetables that I uh, get from adaptations on the Big Island. She gets me all the stuff from the farmers. We do a farm to fork, okay. which is, you know, where we definitely feature the, um, all the local foods. Okay. Um, a little Kona sea salt. Yeah, a little Kona sea Kona salt, a little bit of pepper. We're going okay. to pre-season that. Get a little bit of oil in there. Okay, a little olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Oops. Do you have a name for this dish? Uh, I'm still working still on it. Still working now. on the name. <laughs> I'll let you know at the end. Okay. <laughs> so we're creating as we're going we're along. We're creating here. as we go. So what I'm doing is, as you can see, it's pretty hot now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll get that going in there. Just going to sear it on both sides and then pop it in the oven. Yep, going to sear okay, it on both finish sides. Finish it off in the oven. Yep, okay. just simple, little salt and pepper. Don't want to, like I said, we don't want to mask the flavors of anything. You right. know, like I said, you just want it natural. So would ahi, would ahi uh, be a good fish to use for this dish? Oh. Ah, oh, he's always good. Oh, he's always good, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now okay. is pop this in the oven. Okay. So now the vegetables that you're going to be uh, searing up, this will be for um, uh, like a bed for the yes, fish? Yes, it'll be like a bed. I'm going to put the, well, I'm going to use the uh, purple potatoes okay. as pretty much the base and the, the bed, the starch on here. I'm going to get the potatoes in first because they're going to take a little bit. And like I said, we have beautiful beets. All these were pre-blanched before I got here. Mm -hmm. Now that's, yeah. what kind of a beet is that? Uh, this is a golden beet. Golden beet, okay. Yeah, these are all, like I said, all local. Get a couple beans in here. It's very colorful, Chef. Yeah, that's, I what, like I was, this. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going for. Like I said, I, got, I will go down and I'm just, we're really lucky that we get this. Mm -hmm. Well, as they say, people eat with their eyes first, right? Oh, yeah. You know, they see the food, it just entices them. It looks like a painting, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like I said, I, I pre-cooked these, so I'm just gonna, I'm really just heating them up. Mm -hmm. Right now, as soon as it starts to brown, I'm going to turn this off. Mm -hmm. We're going to sit this on the side, and then we're going to work the uh, the next part of it. So, okay, looks nice. There we go. The fish is still still a little bit under. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, little bit of white wine in there right now. Mm. Mm. I love that smell. <laughs> Pull that fish out for a minute. Carefully. Okay. <clears throat> so right now we're gonna we want all this good stuff in the pan. Okay. Be careful because your pan is hot. Yeah. <laughs> this came out of the oven, but this is where your flavor is. Mm-hmm. Okay, so make the sauce for the Yeah, dish. we're gonna make the sauce right now. Okay. For the dish. So I'm gonna let this wine reduce down a little bit more. Coconut milk. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is just the, this is actually the processed coconut milk that okay. we get in. How we how we make our hopia. Now, what I did earlier is I um, took some of the dragon fruit. And we're gonna. Now, see that just adds more color to the whole thing. Okay. Beautiful, yep. beautiful fruit. There we go. Yeah. Mm. What does dragon fruit taste like? Uh, like I said, it's pretty mild flavor. Mm -hmm. It's um, like it's a, it's got the consistency of uh, the kiwi. Uh huh. I know it's not the healthiest, but it's always good to finish these sauces with um, whole butter. Mm. Like I said, it doesn't. You don't have to use a lot of it. Yeah. But. But it's it better really, with butter. Everything's better <laughs> with butter. You know that. Oh yeah. Now this is kind of the fun part. You can kind of play. Like I said, you can really. Uh, and press the guests at home, you know. You bring them over, tell them you're going to make them some fish, and you have all this ready to go. And then the different carrots. All that, we don't even have the fish on there yet. <laughs> yeah. We'll put that right on top. I have a uh, microgreens. 
Okay. Also, Big Island. Big Island. Uh, yeah, this is a, a micro mix that I'm going to put on the top. Okay. And a lot of edible flowers. Oh, that's cool. These so, are, all these flowers are all edible. The, all the flowers are edible in here. Okay. So we'll just put a couple on here. Looks like we got so much color going on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think we're done. Okay, now have you come up with a name yet for the dish? We're gonna call it uh, pan seared mahi with local Big Island vegetables and a dragon fruit cream sauce. Ooh, I can't wait. Well, got my trusty fork. I am ready to taste, chef. There you go. Okay, the enjoy. Mahi. Oh, flowers. Oh, everything. Mmm. Dragon fruit ono. There you go. Delicious. From the Sheraton Keoho Bay in Kona. Chef Eric Lelinski, and of course we're coming to you from the Hawaii Home Building Materials Showroom here in Kalihi, and we, we want you to join us next time for real recipes, and next time you go to Kona, stop by the Sheraton at the Keoho Bay. Go. Come see me. Check it out, check him out. Mm, this is so good. Coming up, it's a boys' day out with Dwayne and the gang.